Hello, welcome to a Paper Flourish craft video. My name is Julie. Today I'm going to show you some different ideas to use the gorgeous Nouveau Glacier Pace. I have four colours here. They come in a wide range of colours. A uh, couple of them are out of stock at the moment in store, but we do have a lot of the colours available. So the four that I have, this is beautiful frostbite. Now you can see this is one of my well-loved colors, still going strong, but it's a beautiful shimmery pale blue. I also have, this one's called Green Envy. Another lovely color. I think I might've bought, um, picked the red, uh, well this is one's called, it's not red, it's a cranberry, isn't it? Crushed cranberry. Probably pick those two to do some Christmas things. And this one, I think this has always been my favorite, Sea Sprite with this gorgeous little green, pinky, oh sorry, minty green color. Now you can see they're a paste, but they're extremely easy to use. They stencil beautifully, you can paint with them. The consistency of these pastes allows you to do a lot of different things. I'm going to start just by showing you some of these colors. And these do, do look a little bit different, whether you're working on, on black or white. So this is the beautiful um, Frostbite. So, and I'm just painting it on here with my paintbrush. Have a look at that. Look at the shimmer sitting in that. Absolutely beautiful. I do the same on the white. Actually, it gets a little bit more bluey on the white. Still shimmery, so pretty. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I hope they're showing up okay. But you can see I'm just painting it on. So you could paint this onto anything. The green, green envy. It's rather gorgeous. Look at that lovely shine. So beautiful. And then same, colors a little bit more intense. You get a little bit more of a green, intense look on the white, but it still has that beautiful shimmer, especially when the light, light catches it. So that's the green. I'll just put these brushes down because I might use them again in a moment. The cranberry color, it's really nice too. Look at that. And when I try it on the white, so stronger. Can you see the see the difference happening here in the colours? Hope that's showing up okay. But still getting the still getting the same shade, but the colour comes out a little bit more um, when you're working on the white. But the shimmer, they seem to shimmer um, so much on the black. That sea sprite. So when I do it on the white, I get more of sort of the minty green colour. When it's going on the black, you get a little bit, but definitely it almost looks like a silver, silver shimmer. Beautiful colors. So you could paint this on anything at all. Beautiful shimmery surface. For example, um, let me get a piece of paper out. Just make sure you can see this all right. I might just move those up a little bit. There we go. Now I've got some chipboards. So I've got, this is one of the Lavinia grey board numbers. They're chipboard. And I do have to make a 29th birthday card soon. So I thought maybe I might paint these. Now I'm going to go with the green. So I'm just picking it up on my paintbrush and I'm just going to paint. Now you could put a paint underneath. You could primer them. I'm just going straight onto the chipboard this time. But I said they work really nicely on top of a paint. Of course, if you had a white paint underneath, um, it would probably be a little bit more brighter in colour. If I had a black paint underneath, um, it would look probably even a little bit shimmery. But I've just gone straight there onto the chipboard. And can you see, I'm really hoping that's showing up. And I'll keep saying that. Hopefully that's picking it up. Look at the shimmer and shine. So they're ready. I'm going to pop that straight onto a birthday card, I think, later on. So that's my 29. Okay. Uh, what can I do? I've got another chipboard. This one here is from the, it's a Mente Nature 2 set. I love it because you get all this foliage. So I've got out these gorgeous leaves. All right, I actually ended up, I got two of the um, chipboards out of that gorgeous Mente set that I showed you. I've painted one of them in the Stamperia Black and Matte Super Base. 
the other one I've painted straight out with the Stamperia titanium white paint let's go I'm gonna go in with the this is sea sprite and I'm just going to paint the chipboard just so you can see the effect so painting on the white has made it really silvery and shimmery absolutely pr so pretty so if you want to add a shimmer and shine to a project these are a really easy way to do it let's try the same thing this time on the black so here they are i've given them a quick dry and they just look beautiful it's added that gorgeous shimmer onto it so it doesn't look the green color it's just giving it that real sparkle silvery shimmer but so so pretty so you can so decorate your chipboards play around with them um i also where are they there they are i've got some flowers here so it's nice to add a little bit of a sparkle to your flowers this time it's going with the blue and just if i just lightly tap on the flower how easy is that to add some shimmer and sparkle um, onto your flower so pretty it's just a little cream flower just you know putting that on a card or on a mixed media project just lifts it adds that sparkle let's try one here this little white flower and let's try it this time with the sea sprite so there we are so they it just said changes the flower lifts it makes it sparkly and pretty so that's something else you can do with those pastes now these pastes create absolute magic on a background on a card um, or again on a project anything but you can stencil with these pastes so I've got here a couple of my couple of the beautiful Lavinia stencils this is the feather leaf stencil so I'm just going to pop that down and you pick up a bit of the paste we might go this time with this beautiful red one and you can stencil I'm doing it on black now you can also you don't have to just stick with one color nothing wrong with mixing up your colors a little bit so it's a little bit more of this gorgeous cranberry so for example I know it's a little bit early to be thinking about it however to get it done in time not a bad idea to start thinking about next year's Christmas cards let's do a bit of the green as well mix that in but so the consistency of these pastes it is so easy to use and work with you just dry them off with your heat tool so this is because I'm stenciling with my um, palette knife spatula I'll get a little bit more of a raised effect I'll show you another idea for stenciling in a moment okay the big reveal look at that for a background oh Merry Christmas on that and your card is done all right it's almost dry this one but how pretty is that just stunning can stencil on white don't just think cards I mean it's beautiful on a card but adding a touch to a journal page a scrapbooking page how beautiful would this work on a scrapbooking page an album mixed media product anything you can stencil on but it's just beautiful uh, stenciling as well here comes one of my favorite favorite ones this time let's go with a white card now this is the cryptic large stencil again I'm just going to stencil with a paste let's go with sea sprite super duper pretty get the paste off your stencil straight away I usually have some baby wipes ready I wrap it between baby wipes or if I know I'm not going to have time to clean it straight away um, I might just um, have a container of soapy water dropping the stencils into it but don't let that paste settle on your stencils now this time I'm not going to do the whole thing I'm just going to do part of it there we are doesn't that look cool again beautiful and sparkly pretty um, hold it up so you can see 
just gorgeous and then just adding whether it's some ephemera or a stamped image or just something on top of that finishes it off these pastes as well you can sponge them straight onto a card onto chipboard onto anything so i'm going to use a bit of this lovely pretty one what i would do is put a little bit out on your mat or paper palette i've just got a sponge these are the art by marlene sponges you get heaps in a pack the studio light ones and we do have these at paper flourish in store and online so i'm just going to pick up a little bit and i'm just going to sponge this gorgeous paste onto the background again you can do one color you could do multiple colors pretty isn't it now straight away is it are you thinking galaxy because to me that's what this looks like doesn't it, it looks like a galaxy so at the moment I've just gone with one color but I could grab oh look at that see galaxy like all the stars in the galaxy might want to add another a little bit of another color on to which one did I get the blue let's do a, t a touch of green as well I love just playing see there's so many different things you can do with these pace why stop there what next whoa what have I used how about I do I'm gonna just do a touch of red I need a blue one I wonder if there's a blue one there I think there is I might have to just purchase that as well put it in my craft stash to play with this would actually work as a Christmas card background as well with the red and green. But have a look, how easy was that? And don't you think? Galaxy card. There's something different. I'm running out of room here with all my little pretty samples. Uh, one more thing I'm going to show you is this time let's bring out a card I'm going to bring back one of these lovely stencils in fact I might try this one this one's by Lavinia and it's called ornate and this time with the stencil but this time I'm going to sponge with the stencil so I'm going to go back in let's pick up the foster cranberry so rather than a raised image this time I'm going to get a flatter image on the card but it's still going to be shimmery and sparkly okay so that's all sponged and there we go again dry I'll give that a dry and then I'll show you how it looks and here's that one I've just again given it a quick dry but look at that beautiful the glitter the shimmer but a flatter stenciling than this one and this one here um, that I did so these pastes they are so pretty shimmery um, sparkly they're absolutely beautiful and very versatile said so I've done a number of things there today there's a lot more that can be done with them um, if you've got these in your stash time to get them out and play with them uh, whether you're stenciling you're sponging making a galaxy background I think that's my favorite today or maybe the chipboard adding that beautiful shimmer onto your chipboard flowers just adding that touch of sparkle to your flowers um, so much you can do with them hop online have a look at all the beautiful colors that are available in these pace thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day more craft videos on the way very soon thank you bye